Steam is the preferred method of delivering heat to many industrial processes. Steam releases large quantities of energy when it condenses 539 calories per gram and is low cost, non-toxic, and easy to transfer. Generating and delivering steam accounts for about 15% of the energy used in the industrial sector. Modern electric power plants co-generate steam with efficiencies that approach 85%. A typical steam boiler, however, exhibits a much lower efficiency. For instance, steam boilers in China average only 65% efficiency because they are mostly small units that cannot combust completely the poor quality coal available. Various procedures can improve the efficiency of existing steam systems. The most cost-effective procedures include repairing steam traps, cleaning heat transfer services, and insulating pipes, valves, and fittings. Other procedures may involve expensive retrofits, but even these may prove worthwhile as fuel costs climb and as more stringent emission regulations are imposed. Additional energy conservation can be achieved through decreasing steam demand. The chemical industry, for instance, has developed processes with new catalysts whereby chemical reactions can occur at lower temperatures and pressures. As a result, these processes expend less steam. Electric motors and steam systems are common to many industries, whereas other opportunities for greenhouse gas mitigation are more industry-specific. The following examine technologies in iron steel and cement manufacturing. Iron steel manufacturing is the largest industrial source of greenhouse gases, contributing about 7% of the world's emissions from human activity. This stems from the vast amount of energy required for iron and steel smelting and from several chemical reactions that directly generate carbon dioxide. A brief introduction to heavy metal seems appropriate. Rum roll and pounding baseline, please. Earth's crust contains deposits of iron ore, which is composed of iron combined with oxygen or sulfur. Heating iron ore in a low oxygen environment and in the presence of carbon from charcoal, coal, or coke expels the oxygen or sulfur and produces carbon alloys, either wrought iron, carbon steel, or pig iron, depending on the proportions of iron and carbon. Higher carbon content yields a harder but more brittle metal. Stainless steel is a carbon steel alloy that contains substantial amounts of chromium, nickel, and molybdenum to improve its corrosion resistance. Iron and steel production follow three pathways. The primary one, which produces 60% of the world's iron and steel, uses blast furnace. In a blast furnace, several reactions convert iron ore into iron. Several of these reactions generate carbon dioxide. Glass furnaces, on average, emit 534 kilograms of carbon equivalents of greenhouse gases per metric ton of steel, whereas more energy-efficient designs emit as little as 400 kilograms of carbon per ton of steel. Most blast furnaces use coke as their primary carbon and energy source. To make coke, a coke oven heats coal in the absence of oxygen to high temperatures up to 2,000 degrees Celsius, driving off water and volatile hydrocarbons. What remains is coke, a porous material that is 90 to 95 percent carbon along with a few percent of various inorganic minerals such as sulfur. Preparing coke accounts for between 4 and 24 percent of the greenhouse gas emissions from the iron and steel industry. Newer blast furnaces that burn either coal directly, a mix of coal and coke, or a mix of coke and waste plastic decreases these emissions.